Hello, my name is Cal Moloney from Richmond, Virginia, and I'm an anarchist. I'm Io, and I'm an anarchist. And actually, I guess before we begin, I guess I'd like to do a little introduction. Uh, All right. Yeah, you're a uh, fire... I, I do fire performance, I do martial arts, I do like a little bit of acting, a little, a little bit of everything. Yeah, so how long would you say you've been uh, an anarchist then here? <sighs> Since I was a teenager. Yeah. Punk, music, yeah. <laughs> Punk music and heavy metal. Yeah. All day, every nice. day. So today we're going to bring to you the news from Underground. Uh, this time we're going to talk about three interesting topics, all interrelated, interrelated of course, in discussion on child abuse, mostly spanking, corporal punishment, and of course the source of statism. All right, in an article entitled Spanking the Gray Matter Out of Our Kids, harsh corporate punishment in this study has been defined as at least one spanking a month for more than three years, frequently done with objects such as a belt or paddle, researchers have found that children who are regularly spanked have less gray matter in their certain areas of the prelobal cortex that has been found to be linked to depression, addiction, and other mental disorders. So researchers found a strong correlation in, re in regards to the amount of gray matter in these particular brain regions that have uh, an associated effect on, well, a student's performance on IQ tests because gray matter has uh, apparently an effect on self-control. Yeah, what happens if a generation is raised without self-control? What happens? I guess idiocracy is pretty much what ends up happening. Um, pretty I'm, much. Yeah, I mean, this is a pretext. This is a justification that government needs. Uh, all the false uh, mental disorders that they create in association with the American uh, Psychology Association uh, as a pretext to kind of disarm you, right? And another way to kind of control and subjugate you starts off first by drugging children in uh, public indoctrination camps. Um, Military industrial complex is a good example. Pharmaceutical companies make a lot of money off of this stuff. Let's bring that up too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so there was another recent article that was also published by the Journal of Family Psychology in which they found that not only parents punish their children more than they would like to admit, of course, but that spanking them, assaulting, is an as an ineffective means of modifying their behavior. They also stated that the average rate we observed using the real-time audio equates to an alarming 18 times a week which would put the average number of spankings per year at 936. So can you imagine that being, I guess, assaulted, brutalized over 900 times a year? I mean, it's pretty brutal. A lot of the criminals that's been in our justice system, most of violent criminals have been abused. So basically they're only doing what's been done to them. Right, it's not really a, a big mystery. I mean, a lot of this information has been around for decades and the, the effects of uh, child abuse. Uh, I mean, even watching movies, like you watch like uh, Natural Born Killers, for example, with Mickey Knox, you know, the, the childhood abuses that occurred on him resulted in him growing up and to become a mass serial murderer. A lot of the serial killers have been abused, and like our most famous serial killers, a lot of them have been abused, it's a thing. Yeah, uh, Charles Manson, for example, right? Okay. So yeah, so I mean, it's, it's interesting that the correlation factor, but of course, sometimes it's difficult for people who watch these movies you see the evidence right in front of them to kind of to step back and objectively remove their emotions and not try to justify that kind of abuse that have occurred in their own lives. Uh, but of course, this happens frequently. In fact, it even happens in public schools, uh, especially in North Carolina. They have it. Yeah. They have it up to a vote now to see whether or not they should stop assaulting other people's children. Like that should be up for discussion. You're right. <laughs> The Onslow County Board of Education is, vote, is voting today on a proposal to repeal its corporate pu punishment policy. Onslow has paddled two students this past school year, one student the year before, four students the year before that. The school district, which has 25,000 students, says it is weighing on its repeal because it results to spanking so infrequently that there are better ways to teach students how to behave. Jeez, you think? First of all, it's ridiculous that uh, they have to put it up for vote, that they have to put up a bureaucracy, that they have to uh, a selected date specified and when to stop spanking other people's children, when to stop assaulting and hitting other people's children. Yeah, let's have a vote on like not raping people. Yeah, really? uh, yeah. but well, we're going to put up a bureaucracy, we're going to have the best politicians on it. It's like, well, you know, we have to get uh, voter registration, make sure you have your voter IDs, guys, you know, because uh, unless the majority chooses otherwise, it's going to continue to persist, right? To continue violating other people's personal uh, integrity. Their, their bodily rights uh, to self-ownership and especially to that of children. So it's kind of funny that uh, that they have this up for vote. There's 19 technically states that have that still advocate for corporate punishment, assaulting other people's children. And in the 2009-2010 school year alone, over 200,000 children were bullied, were, were abused, physically assaulted by public school officials alone. That's pretty sad and startling. But basically, think of CPS. Do they really help? How many children are being abused? 
I mean, they ask for donations, but nothing's being solved. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. So, it, I mean, we could do a whole topic on CPS. I mean, they do a lot of, uh, I guess, uh, incur a lot of abuses on children. Um, especially, I guess, uh, you have a I guess, relationship like uh, government I, homes. Yeah, basically, I've been at uh, Virginia Home for Boys. I've been at Intercept. And basically, like, the ki kids that have been abused do not get the help they need. And if you've been abused for however long, one week of counseling is really not going to help you. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of, there's a lot of hypocritical stances that government, of course, it's obvious that it's, it's inherent in the system to have hypocritical stances. Uh, but of course, removing government in itself into like the family home is kind of hypocritical to also hit children, right? Because for example, like most of the common arguments for us are what they don't understand. It's like, well, then universalize that rule. If you don't understand, you know, then you're saying it's okay for me to hit you, right? So, so your boss, when you don't understand a computer program, should he smack you? Yeah, uh, yeah. Call in the rock from that uh, lame movie Hercules, and you know, lay the little figuratively uh, smackdown on you. Yeah. Um, you know, if, if your if your grandparents don't understand, right? If and when they kind of grow old and age, I guess it's okay to hit them too, right? You know, what point does that continue to persist, right? Where's the line? Yeah. I mean, so if you go to a foreign country, if you're traveling and they can't understand, or you can't understand them well it's okay to hit each other then right um but of course when you find uh i guess some of this information like you know well, what can you do right yeah. if you're still a proponent for spanking children for example um you know maybe take a moment to kind of step back remove your feelings remove i guess emotional ties i guess for from maybe personal past incurrence of this particular um well i would say many most people have kind yeah. of i mean if the room is not clean is it really that serious yeah yeah <laughs> And, and then carefully examine, uh, look at the information objectively, uh, remove your past experiences from from that information, look at the facts, look at the evidence. Uh, remember, it leads to a loss of IQ points, it leads to an increased uh, susceptibility to criminality, to depression, to, to uh, accessibility to incurring cancer. Do you want your children to be smarter is the real question. Right, yeah. <laughs> Would you risk? Would you dare even risk uh, doing that knowing that it could? Right. Even if you say, even if uh, you say, well, I don't know. If that, even even a chance that it could lose like key points. You know, would you even take that chance for, for your child to to lose that amount, right, of, of gray matter, of of being a beautiful young human being that when he grows up, he, when people ask him, you know, uh, ask you, uh, you know, were you spanked? And they say, yeah, I turned out okay, instead of awesome and beautiful and fantastic and you know the most capable and resound mind that I could possibly have, thanks to my parents who did love me and tried to help me understand this world around me, instead of resorting to physical violence, which is the only solution that government has to solving any problems. Um, so we do have particular other areas to kind of help you. I guess if you do have some questions, we have a, a group on, on yeah. Facebook, a Liberate Parents Community Group. You know, you have a, we have a lot of parents on there. If you have any questions, you'd like to share your experiences. Peaceful uh, parenting. Yeah, we also yeah we have the pamphlet too available that uh, we, with other parents with the uh, Liberate Community we put together. There's a lot of good additional resources there. Um, it's something that we pass around too when in terms of when talking to people about um, well ending the state, about raising a peaceful generation, about agorism, about about anarchy, uh, about a free society based on consent. Um, and so we have resources available for that, I guess, to help arm you against the state. But when we're talking about uh, where all this violence comes from, or like statism comes from comes from your parent because the parent is initially the state that you meet before you meet the real state. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's 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 the first experience you're going to have with status, and that's the first experience you're having with government. You know, when uh, when you ask the parent a question, you know, why, 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 and your parent smacks you for being a smartass for for asking questions for uh, questioning their authority. You know, what's going to end up happening with that child when he grows up? They're going to project that experience and not dare question the government authority in and of itself. Uh, you know, or so just authority in general. Yeah, they, they won't question their surroundings. They won't question people wearing costumes. They won't question titles, right? Because I'm your mom, because I'm your dad, because I'm the cop, because, because I'm the government, because, 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 instead of uh, looking underlying um, beneath that, you know, they're, they're just individual people and children should also be looked at individual people as well. Um, um, little so, people. <laughs> yeah, 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 little, little people, people who, who, who want to grow up and understand and be part of this, this world with, with us as well. So if you want to end the state, you know, it's not just state violence that we're fighting against. It's also the violence we do to each other and especially the violence that's done with children. Yeah, they're innocent. They didn't ask to come here. Yeah, they're like sponges. They absorb their cultural surroundings and like mirrors reflect those social norms and behaviors right back. So with that, this is Kyle Molyneux. This is Ayo. See you guys at the Victory Party. Take good care. Good luck. Be safe.